Hey everybody, uh, Martin Carlson here from Strange and Oddities here at Texas Frightmare Weekend. Uh, really happy to be here with uh, Christine, Elise, and Alex Vincent. How are you two today? Very, very well. Yeah, yeah doing good. Awesome. Thanks for talking to me today. Um, I guess to get started, uh, Chucky came at an early point in both your careers um, in terms of when you both entered the franchise. Um, what was that like? What did it mean to you at that point in your career? For me, it was my first big movie and it was really exciting to, to work <laughs> full stop. We getting a job at all was really exciting. Uh, and to do, it was my first time, I think, really, I think working on, on the lot, on the Universal lot, which is really exciting, too, because that sort of a horror was born. And it had all the legendary Universal monsters are, you know, represented. Are they, from, they were born there. And also on our set, that, on our stage that we shot at, was the oldest living set, standing set in the world at the time. It's since burned down. It was okay. the opera from the original Phantom of the Opera. The opera seating was up there. It was really fucking cool. That is, that is awesome. And for you, Alex? Yeah, Child's Play was the first film that I did. That I was an extra in two things before that. And then I got cast as the lead in a film. So it was crazy exciting and fun and not scary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd seen an interview with you that a lot of people ask. Um, actually, one of our fan, our fan questions was, uh, yes, uh, uh, Heather Dunn asked you when you were younger in Child's Play 1 and 2, how hard was it to be a child actor and do you have nightmares at the age? At the, at age? It's a fair question, which is what's made it the most popular question of my life. Yeah. Um, but no, as I've said then, and you know, many times, so when you're there and you're doing the same thing over and over again all day long, and uh, you know exactly what you're supposed to do and what happens next, and uh, you know, resetting up for the next shot and everything. Doing, you know, Chucky gets 40 takes to try to move the right way, so there's no chance to be afraid of anything. So for both of you coming back to this franchise, though, after so many years, what's it like kind of stepping back into a role um, that was so early in your career and now you're kind of back playing like Kyle again? And I think it's a, it's a singular experience in my life. No, come on. Here comes Don Mancini come on, <laughs> to join us. Um, it was, it's a singular experience, I think, uh, for me for sure, but even in the whole world of filmmaking, it's very rare to, play, to get an opportunity to play the same character for 30 years running. So to come back was super exciting. I was just speaking uh, with Brad and Fiona. It was really awesome. Um, in terms of, there was an uh, original script uh, for Child's Play that was much different, um, but also like, where, did, where did the idea come from originally, and then how did it morph into what we see today? Well, my dad had worked in advertising and marketing, and so I always, when I was in film school in the 80s, I was interested in writing something, a uh, dark satire about how marketing and advertising affected kids. This was at the time when Cabbage Patch dolls were really popular. So it's kind of those two impetuses that came together. But what Fiona and Brad were alluding to is in the original script, there, Chucky wasn't possessed by a serial killer. Chucky was instead the sort of walking id and, or unconscious of Andy Barkley, sort of like striking out at all of Andy's enemies. Well, like, like the babysitter, you know, his teacher. I mean, that whole scene with Miss Kettlewell was in the original, the script of Child's Play 1. Um, anyway, so that's how, but, and then, you know, it got developed and changed, and Tom Holland and David Kirshner, you know, added this idea of Charles Lee Ray. Well, I think it works really well. Um, and I guess, so talking to Kevin Yeager this morning and, and Brad and Fiona, they both, they both call you the, uh, the godfather of Chucky. Um, and godfather. the godfather. I think it's father. <laughs> yeah, yeah, father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, father. <laughs> Straight up, father. But uh, what has it been like working with uh, Don for both of you? Awesome. Uh, from, I mean, I was, a, I was, a, yeah, right. Yeah. It was terrible. It was a mess. Uh, it's still a mess. Uh, no, uh, I've told him many times that when I was uh, eight years old, I looked up to him. I thought he he had the coolest job and had the coolest car and. I, you know, I, I, I wanted to do that. I, wa I, I wanted to do that, you know. So um, the fact, the opportunity to come back in my adult life and portray this character that was such a huge part of my life, my childhood, and, my, you know, it was an, a blessing and an incredible opportunity and a rare one that doesn't happen. So it's, a, it's you know, it's exciting. It's rare. It's rare too that a filmmaker would would be interested in, in continuing to work with the same people for so long. I don't think this, that the Hollywood, you know, is prone to that. I think people like to move on and start fresh and do new things. And 
um, it's it's a testament to Don that he's that we're that we all love him and that he and then he I guess he loves us back. <laughs> like I have a hard time meeting new people. <laughs> you know, it's like oh, I just like one of those people I'm comfortable with. They're fine. They'll be fine. I was the same friends for 20 years, so I get. I'm like I already have enough friends, so you know who needs them. Um, but um, a uh, few other like kind of like post Chucky questions for you. Um, you got into uh, is it sound recording and sound engineering as well, but also poetry. Can you talk a little bit about that? I was actually reading some. It was really great online. Thank you. Uh, you know, I read a quote one, somewhere that someone once said, more people write poetry than read poetry. <laughs> so it's kind of not, not, not an art that I uh, push that much, but I enjoy it. I've written my whole life. I enjoy that. But I own a recording studio in Clearwater, Florida the past four years. I record, uh, you know, all kinds of musicians, all genres, hip hop, rock. Uh, I do some sound for film and scoring and audio mixing and it's a nice, nice spot. Uh, it's comfortable. It's fun. I get to be creative and, and make my own hours, so I enjoy that. Yeah. And uh, for Christina, also with you're a photographer as well as I was watching your uh, your vegan and vegetarian cooking channel. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? It's a vegan cooking channel. Sorry, it's a, it's yeah, on yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, full blown vegan on uh, YouTube. Uh, you can get to it. You can navigate to it by uh, going to videovegan.com. And it is what it sounds like. It's, I, it's a one-person show. I do everything. I, 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 it's my recipes. I do the cooking. I do the shooting. I do the editing. I do the f food photography. I do everything. So it's sort of, it's a, it's a creative outlet that I have complete control over, which is awesome. Another creative outlet that I have complete control over is my novel. Yes. Uh, <laughs> bathing um, in the single girl, yes. Right. Bathing in the single girl, <laughs> which is a, <laughs> which is a dirty comedy novel. It's not erotica. It's not like. Fifty Shades of Grey. It's horrible, embarrassing, awkward, regrettable sex, and uh, and scatological humor. I would like to read that very much. That sounds uh, right up my alley. Um, and I have another fan, <laughs> fan actually, really does. Uh, fan question from Jennifer Long said, "Thanks for uh, sending that in for Alex and Christine. Um, do you have any favorite on-set scenes or stories you'd like to share with your fans before we finish?" I do not. I yep. do not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, every time that I get to hurt the doll is f the most fun day that I could be on set torching him or melting him with wax or setting him on fire. Or th those are the most fun fun times. This last one in Cult of Chucky, when I got to burn his face with the torch, uh, n we all c no, none of us knew how that was going to work or if it would work or if it would look great or if it would be awesome as we expected it to be. And we had one shot to kind of burn it because uh, then it was burnt and ru you know ruined. Uh, we didn't plan on having this one shot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was, yeah. you know, one of those inevitable, it was like the first day of shooting, and it's like, oh, we're out of time. And yeah. Everybody, you know, he's got to burn Chuck's head. Go ahead, burn his face. Uh, so, yeah, that's always fun to do. And Christine, luckily, and fun, was right behind me uh, as I did that. Okay. Yeah, that that's good. Play too. You like the scene when Chucky is taking you hostage and he's making you drive him around. The, the whole, yeah, the whole driving sequence of Chucky is great. Um, my, my, I think the more interesting story that I, first of all, I was so in love with every minute of being there. I, can't, I, I was be just like beyond excited, and I would stay after they wrapped me every day, and they would call me in on days just in case they needed me and never get around to me, and I didn't care. I sat around for 12 hours and did nothing. I was so fucking happy to be there. So, no... Th <laughs> and, we, and I've not seen it, um, but I really would rather hear what your favorite scenes are because you've got like it, you're. It's more interesting from you, Don, to hear because you wrote them. So seeing them come to life, which did anything come to life differently than you sort of envisioned, or better or worse, or? Yeah, it, it always evolves into something, and then like certainly on the ones where other directors came in, and that you know adds another level of you know usually makes it better. So, I, I mean, gosh, I have so many favorite scenes. I mean, in the first one, I wasn't around for the shooting of the first one because that was shot during the writer's strike of 88. So I wasn't around for that. But the second one, um, I, I have weirdly fond memories of Chucky burying Tommy in the yard and saying, eat dirt, Tommy. That was fun. I remember when you guys in the basement, the cigarette thing. What was that made of? Celery or something? I don't know. We could never, never do that today. You'd never, yeah, people, you can't smoke in movies. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Child's Play 3, uh, the Andy Robinson scene, you know, which is a, 
a parody of Sweeney Todd because I was a huge Stephen Sondheim fan. Bride of Chucky, Tiffany's death in the bathtub with the bubbles was great. A seat of Chucky, I think my favorite scene is only because like Jennifer like hated doing it. It was so funny and she just finally said, okay, I'll do it. Or I asked her in the scene where she has to vomit into her purse. <laughs> she really didn't want to do it, bless her heart. And I said like, and that, but then we had the idea of like putting her face on the purse and that sold it, that, it's, which I figured it would. Um, anyway, I just like think about shooting that. It makes me giggle. And it's only just because of Jennifer, <laughs> see? <laughs> <laughs> um, Curse of Chucky. Alex's scene at the end, of course, was my favorite scene. Mine too. Day one. Yeah. Wasn't that the first day? Yeah. It was so hard. Yeah. Um, and Cult of Chucky, Christine's scene. <laughs> <laughs> All of Alex's scenes in Cult were great. I yeah. The glass great. Oh, that's fantastic. And But one of the things we felt like when we were shooting with Alex, you know, he has like. The scene where he has to handle scenes with guns and it's like and he's adept at that <laughs> and it's like because it's a weird thing and I didn't really we didn't rehearse it um, and it's you know usually something because some actors can't do it you just take it for granted I mean if you're like if you're shooting a scene with cops for example it's like like Adam Hurtig in Curse of Chucky he was great as a cop because he's just like someone who like just moves very confidently but when you write okay a cop comes into the room and he like it can look so goofy so easily. How you sell it, you know? Yeah, and Ale but Alex was great with the guns. I watch a lot of 24. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you enjoyed that. I, I think. Did. Yeah. And, you know, smo okay. smoking weed with Chucky. It's like, ah, good times. Yeah, all good times. <laughs> I guess to, uh, to finish up, we were speaking right before we started filming, actually, you're talking about the family that has been created or, you know, from this franchise. I guess to, to finish up for all of you, what has that meant just outside of the film, just the family, meeting fans, working with each other? Um, well, uh, obviously the more the, the more significant thing is that my friendships with Don and, and Alex have lasted for 30 years not since he was a baby and he feels like my real brother. He has more family, there's Kevin Yeager, uh, whose who's wife is Catherine Hicks, and they're at literally family, and, and Fiona and Brad are literally family. But, the, but, and I know, but I know Kevin outside of this world, too. I know his brother and his sister-in-law really well. So it, it's, it, really, I mean, it really feels like family. It, I even know like cousins, and like it feels like it goes back a couple of... Uh, and, uh, and meeting fans is great, too. Um, especially when they show up with stuff that I've never seen before. They have these like avid collectors that have really rare stuff. You're going to have a great time, Don. You're going to see some really really special rare shit and uh and that's great too and for you christine you just made me realize what would have been the perfect answer to the guy la this guy at the um q a after the movie last night asked how does one get cast in a chucky movie how do you get in and and the answer is you marry one of us <laughs> or you are born to one of us it's a very, and I realize it's like, it's actually, it's very difficult. <laughs> it's like you have to, because we're all related to one another, basically, like legally at this point. Um, no, I'm not done. <laughs> no, I just realized I should say something sentimental. Um, no, it's great. And the older I get, actually, it's, I, I value this aspect of it so much, you know, just to be, it's so much fun and, and, and such a privilege to get to work with people who are good at what they do and they love it. We, you know, we all care about this a lot. It's, you know, we're not, yeah, yeah. well, cool. It's in, and we really enjoy it and each other. Yeah. I mean, it, uh, <laughs> you, <coughs> I, I don't personally remember much more before six years old. I don't know how much anyone does. So like basically from the beginning of my consciousness, this child's play, Chucky was a part of my life. He was my, you know, a friend till the end, as he said, which is proving more and more true every year. Um, but, yeah, the, my earliest memories involve these people. Uh, and to be able to still be in their lives 30 years later uh, and still get to get together and uh, hang out and enjoy each other's company is awesome and incredibly uh, fortunate that we have that. And Christine does feel like my, my sister, and, and Don feels like the cool, I don't know, uncle, o uncle older, bro older brother, not, 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 father. not father nor yeah, godfather. Now I want to be the godfather. <laughs> you know, I, I'm Italian from North Jersey. The godfather carries some honor, you know. That's not, 
That's, that's nothing true. to sneeze at. Well, it's, I'm not named Don for nothing. Yeah, there you go. So, well, you know, Andy yeah. Garcia in Godfather 3, he becomes Don Mancini. At the end, his, char his character is named Vincent Mancini. At the end, he's Mancini. Don Mancini. Don Mancini. Yeah. I, never, I never put it together. Oh, it's aptly named. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to thank you all for uh, talking to me today. It was really a pleasure. Uh, thank you for the films, and I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you. For all right. For, yes. Thank you. Where are we going? Home. Where's home? I have no idea. Looks like I'm stuck with you. You'll deal with it. <laughs>